Hey gang, I'm Eric Fallon. I'm a lifestyle portrait photographer based out of New York City. In this video, I wanna run you guys through the Edge Mask. Now this is a really cool modifier that Braun Color came out with for their existing series of soft boxes. And what's neat about it is you can take many of the soft boxes you might already own, simply take off the front diffusion panel and put the Edge Mask on and you've got a completely new and unique quality to your light. So I wanna run you through a couple different scenarios. Well, this will save you on your equipment so you have to set up less while still getting great results. And I wanna show you one or two instances where this is gonna give you a unique look that you might not be able to get with any other modifier out there. Here we are in scenario number one. Now this is where the edge mask is really gonna save you a lot of equipment and time when you're setting up for your standard portraits. Normally when you wanna do a headshot, you're gonna want a three point lighting setup. So you're gonna want a key light, a fill light, and a hair or a rim light. So we're talking about a lot of strobes here. But what's neat about the edge mask is when you put it on the larger four by six foot soft box, it can act as a hair light and two rim lights while only using a single strobe. So that means you just need some light coming in from the front, and there you go. Two heads, two soft boxes, three point lighting. So let's go ahead and set that up, and I'll show you what it looks like when we start out and we're dialing in the exposure of just our background light, which is gonna be the edge mask here. So when you're setting up your edge mask as a backlight, you wanna make sure that you're placing your subject in the very center. That way you have an even intensity of light coming in from both sides and as well as from the top. Now I recommend using the larger, the four by six foot here, that way you have plenty of room so your model can stretch out, you can do horizontals as well as verticals. <laughs> so now that you have your model placed appropriately within the edge mask, you have to think about lens selection. You're gonna wanna use a telephoto lens here. Personally, we're using the 70 to 200 on this shoot, and I'm zoomed pretty far in. What that does is it gives you beautiful compression on your model's face, but also zooms in and places her right in the middle of the edge mask so you're not getting any of the white light in it, just the beautiful low key background. So there you go. Once we dial in our exposure, you can see we have a hair light and two beautifully even rim lights. Now all we need is a key light and we've got our portrait. For our key light, I'm bringing in one more Cirrus unit and I've got the two foot by two foot soft box on the front. I'm gonna bring that over here, camera left, bring it up a little above eye level and shining down and that's gonna give us beautiful even light on our model's face. And then we can add an additional reflector, either a silver or a white side of the reflector for a little more fill and add that little spark to catch light on the bottom of her eye. So that's how you can really quickly and easily take a beautiful portrait where it appears like you have many lights on set, but you're really only leveraging two strobes, the edge mask, and a simple soft box. Now that's a more classical approach to portraiture. I wanna show you how you can come away with something really edgy and unique using the edge mask as well. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into that using just a single strobe and walking away with some killer photographs. Now in this setup, we're making life even simpler. We've gotten rid of our one main light in the front and we've just turned up the intensity on our backlight. So we've got our Cirrus S800 unit back there. We've got our large soft box. We've attached the edge mask to it still. And what I did is I just turned up the intensity a little. Now what that's gonna do is give us a very high contrast silhouette with beautiful soft wrapping edge lights that bleed around to the front. I can play around with this and turn the power up a whole bunch and get a nice kind of glowy ethereal backlit look. But what I prefer to do is keep that with a good exposure so I don't lose detail on the edges and I either use a white V-flat or a black V-flat to add some fill as you see in the photos here or to get the really, really contrasty, punchy, edgy look. I use the black part of the V-flat or you could just use an empty room with all the lights off and that's gonna give you the most contrast and the most impact in these edgy portraits. So after knocking out the really cool edgy portraits, after we did the safer, more classical portrait look, I wanna see what the edge mask looks like when you bring it around the front and use it as a main light. So let's go ahead and hop over and see what that looks like. Here we are in our third and final setup. I wanted to make this look really simple, elegant, and beautiful as well. So we brought around the softbox to the front. It's actually on camera access right behind my head as I'll be shooting this. And we've still got the edge mask attachment inside there. And what the edge mask is gonna do here is it's gonna break up our softbox beautifully. Now, when you have just a normal diffusion panel in your softbox and you bring it around on camera access, you're gonna get a very even light, but it's gonna be very flat. It's gonna flatten your subject out. They're not gonna look 3D. By having the edge mask, it's blocking out the light from the center, creating these two strips on either side as if I had two strip lights next to me now illuminating my subject. That's gonna give us beautiful cross lighting. So we're gonna have some highlight and then shadow detail, more highlight and shadow detail. It's gonna be our key light and our fill light all built into one. So we've got one light, one soft box, one edge mask, and we've got all the depth, detail, and dimension as if we had multiple lights illuminating our model from the front. 
So in shooting this, you're gonna notice that I have the soft box positioned vertically. That's gonna keep our tunnel of light very narrow so we get a quicker fall off from the highlight to the shadow on the sides of our subject. That's gonna make them look more three-dimensional as well. And by only having a thin highlight there too, it also gives a slight illusion to our model being a little thinner, which is more flattering. So you've got this in the vertical orientation. We could also shoot it in a horizontal orientation to get more wrapping light too. The choice is yours, but I just wanna show you guys how quick and easy it is to get beautiful three-dimensional looking light out of a single strobe with the softbox and the Bron Color Edge Mask. So there you have it. You can see how the large edge mask is gonna allow you to save time on set and be more efficient by only having to set up a single light for double rims and a hair light in that initial portrait. And then you can see how just using the edge mask by itself gives you that unique, beautiful kind of dark field lighting rim effect, that beautiful silhouette that we got. And then finally, we flip the script and use the edge mask as our main light, giving us a beautiful, soft, even wrapping light as if we were standing in front of a giant ring light for that beautiful portrait. So this is definitely a piece of kit that I'm gonna be carrying with me, whether I'm shooting out on location or in the studio, because it just makes life easier and opens up all kinds of creativity.